today is Wednesday 21st of August 2024 and the topic for this daily free devotional guide is Fruits Worthy of Repentance Part 1 Fruits Worthy of Repentance Part 1 The text is from Luke chapter 3 verse 8 and let's take this short prayer together Our Father, we thank you, we give you all the glory, we give you all the honor we exalt your holy name, Lord. For uh, the great I am, please forgive us for our sins in the name of Jesus. Father, please give me the entrance that I will speak your word to these people, that the message that you want to pass to them, that they will get it in the name of Jesus. And in Jesus' mighty name we've prayed. Amen. The, bem- the memory verse is from Matthew chapter 3, verse 8, which says, Bring forth therefore fruits made for repentance. Bring forth therefore fruits made for repentance. As you ca- as you can identify a tree by its fruits, if it has bananas on it, then you will know it is a banana tree. It's impossible to see mango on guava tree. Fruits worthy of repentance is doing the will of god and staying away from evil deeds fruits worthy of repentance is bearing the fruits of the spirit after you have repented and turned away from your bad deeds there are fruits worthy of repentance meaning there are good things that would come out from staying away from sins this the fruits worthy of repentance are the fruits you bear when you truly accepted jesus christ as your lord and savior you should be identified in a good way by bearing good fruits matthew chapter 7 verse 20 says by their fruits you shall know them when you repented when you have repented from your sins it is your fruits that we identify you as a godly person who does the right things and that we prove to people that you have truly repented as from today i hold you to cease from all godly and unclean and bad fruits bear good fruits bear the fruits of the holy spirit let your life be a fruit worthy of emulation. Don't be lukewarm. Repent totally for your life to bear good fruits. I pray the Lord will make you bear fruit worth of repentance in Jesus' name. So, just as the topic says, fruits worthy of repentance. If you've truly given your life to Jesus Christ, then you should manifest the fruits of the Holy Ghost. The fruits of the Spirit. There are nine fruits of the Spirit love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, meekness, goodness, and faith. That's with self control. Nine fruits of the Holy Spirit. God, if God prefers the fruits more than the gifts, there are also nine gifts of the Holy Spirit the word of wisdom, the word of knowledge, the healing, the prophecy, the gift of prophecy, and the rest. But is not the gifts that will make us know that you are truly born again. What that will make us know that you are truly born again, that you truly accepted Jesus Christ, is by emulating the, Christ, the life of Christ. It's by living the way Christ lives. You can only be a you can only be an authentic Christian by living in the spirit. Whenever you live in the flesh. You live like a fallen man. You live like the first Adam. But for you to live like the, like the second Adam, you have to live in the spirit. Is by f- and whenever you live, live in the spirit, it means you are following the leadings of the Holy Spirit. By being sanctified by the word of God, we know your, your mind, the word of God, living a holy life, Read your, read your Bible and you keep praying and let God guide you. Scriptural truth the way to identify a tree or a person is by the kind of fruits.
that is being produced. Prayer, Father, please help me to bear fruits worthy of repentance in Jesus' name. Father, please help me to bear fruits that are worthy of repentance in Jesus' name. Our Father, our God, we thank you. We honor you, Lord. We thank you for such message today. Father, we pray that you make us to bear fruits that we glorify Jesus Christ. We make, Father, please make us to continually live in the Spirit and not in the flesh. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for being here today. Lord bless you. Amen.